Tastes good. Would you like more? My relatives brought me way more food than I can eat. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm really starting to miss our school. Everybody misses you there. I really hope you start to feel better soon. It probably won't happen anytime soon, unfortunately. I'm trying to get a new kidney. They say that's gonna be my best bet. But we're waiting for a compatible donor. I wish I could give you one of my kidneys. That's sweet, but I'm just glad to have you visiting me. That's more than enough, to be honest. Of course, Yuki. Anyway, I'd better get going. But you just got here. I've got some errands. I'll visit again soon. Thanks for the apples. Yeah, sure. Tadashi's different. He seems to be acting more and more distant around me lately. Who's that? She's really pretty. Yes? Yukiko Mio, right? It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Reiko Mizutani. I came here because you and I need to discuss something. And what is that? I'll get right to the point. Yukiko, you should stop seeing Tadashi Kitayama. Huh? What do you mean? I'm saying that I want you to stay away from him. You can't just show up out of nowhere making demands. Did you actually think I'd listen to you? What, are you his crazy ex? Oh, he and I are just getting started. But speaking of crazy, have you looked in a mirror recently? The idea that Kitayama would settle for a girlfriend who looks like you is a lot crazier than anything I've been saying. Get out! Haven't you realized? Kitayama's already fed up with you. He wants to dump you more than anything. But you have him feeling guilty. How long did you think you could use your illness to cling on to him? You know, he's told me that he wishes you would just die already. No, you're lying! It's true. There's a really cruel side to him. The sweet face and glasses are just a facade. He always complains about you on our dates. It's a little annoying, but I just love him to death. And he loves me even more. <laughs> Go away! Did you just throw a stuffed bunny at me? You're pathetic. <sighs> Yuki, is something wrong? Yes, there is! Help me! Make this girl get out of here! My patient doesn't need people harassing her. I don't know who you are, but I want you to leave right now. I'm serious. Get out. Quickly. Well, goodbye, Yukiko. Don't forget our promise. Takagi, the former teacher? That's right. He managed to hop the wall this morning. I'd say he's one of the more dangerous patients we've had. No one's found him yet? Nope. You know the high school girl who got cut up two years ago? He was her homeroom teacher. They never caught the bastard who killed her. Hell, I've been wondering if it might have been Takagi for some time now. You know it was that girl that landed him here, right? He said he saw her ghost. I think her name was Tomie, eh? Her ghost, huh? Could be a hallucination brought on by a guilty conscience. Actually, there were a lot of reported sightings of the victim. Well, that's certainly unusual. And here's the kicker. According to Takagi, she wasn't actually a ghost. He says that Tomie wasn't a normal human being to begin with. Is something the matter, Yuki? Are you not feeling well today? Come on, Yuki, look at me! You know a girl named Reiko Mizutani. She stopped by. You love her? It's fine. You can stop coming here. Goodbye. What's wrong? You've been awfully quiet today, Kitayama. Reiko, Yuki told me that you paid her a visit recently. Is that true? Yeah, I did. She's just the sweetest thing. I think we kind of hit it off, surprisingly. Yuki ended up telling me so many fun little stories. She's really living her last days to the fullest. Apparently, she hooked up with one of the doctors at the hospital. Reiko, 
Oh, you should have seen her eyes when she talked about him. They were shining. I've never seen someone so happy. Reiko! Hmm? I know you just made that story up. Why do I feel like you're always lying to me? I've been close to Yuki for a very long time, and I know she isn't like that. Hold on. Are you really accusing me of lying to you? Fine, then. We're done. Reiko! You silly boy. Did you actually believe that was my name? <laughs> so gullible. Her name was a lie, too? I'm starting to think I might have fallen in love with a monster. Come to think of it, since our very first encounter, I felt this burning void in my soul. It gets bigger every time we meet. And every time I think about that picture from the article I read, about that horrible murder two years ago. It's terrifying. She looks just like her, down to the beauty mark. It's good this happened. I should stop seeing her. Kiriyama! Uh, you're here? <laughs> Surprise. I was just kidding earlier. Just wanted to give you a hard time. You can't get rid of me that easily, you dummy. I love you. <laughs> I said that I love you. Are you just gonna stand like that, or will you say it back to me? Kirayama? shame. Horrible way to go. Please tell me you were able to track down the girl's killer, detective. Yeah, caught him red-handed and everything. He's being questioned back at the station now as we speak. You're saying you killed her for no reason? I just wanted her to die. Just the mere sight of her made me want to kill her and rip her body into tiny pieces. Am I the only one who has feelings like this? Excuse me, Doctor, but someone claiming to be the victim's father is here. Come in. Can you confirm her identity, sir? <laughs> oh, that's my little girl, all right. Apologies, what was your name again? I'm Takaki, very nice to meet you. I'm the director of the hospital here, and I'd like to ask if you would consider donating. Oh, of course! If you need her kidney, then take it! Take anything you need, she would be happy to help. So, how are you feeling? A whole lot better lately. You're very fortunate that they found a compatible donor for you. So do you think we could find out who the donor was? I should thank them. We aren't allowed to reveal that. I'm sorry. Oh, well, that's all right. Yuki. Your body can't properly heal without any food, so stop skipping meals. I know, but I'm not hungry. I really can't see how that's possible. I'm as full as can be, though. See? Yuki, that... What on earth? Uh, uh, it hurts! What's happening? Yuki! <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. My name is Tomie. 